Hello everybody. I recently replaced my hot water heater and I'm having some issues with this check valve. What I have here is a continuous hot water loop. Recently we had cold water there and I can't um, there's no way for cold water to enter that line unless the incoming cold water from the street coming down this line comes up my hot water return because I do have my pump turned off in the middle of the night try to save a little bit of electricity and a little bit of energy and so I don't have it circulating certain hours of the day but if there's hot if there's cold water in this line the only way it can get there is from the main so the cold water main comes down it goes into the hot water tank it could also go off this T, but this check valve is here to keep that cold water from uh, circulating back into this hot water return. Obviously on the hot water side, everything's coming off of a mixing valve. So hot or, or cold or warm water here, hot water from the tank, from the hot water heater, goes to this line. This line feeds all the hot water faucets. So the only way for cold water to get into the hot water line, again, is if this check valve is not working. So I've tried to remove the cap on this, and I put quite a bit of force on it. I don't want to break these solder joints in here by creating more of a problem. So I'm just going to uh, unsweat this, drop a new valve in. They're pretty cheap. And then we'll dissect this check valve and see whether it's really failed. I have the check valve out of the system, and it's definitely stuck partially open. I can't move the flapper from either side. You can't really see see very well down in there, but it's jammed in a partially open position. I'm going to try to get it apart and we'll take a look and see what's going on. This valve is, this check valve is about uh, coming up on 16 years old and who knows how long it's been jammed open. I started to take it apart and uh, I started here by taking this screw off on the side and once I loosen that screw it appears that the the gate is moving but as you can see it gets hung up it seems to get hung up and stuck So this valve is toast, but uh, maybe if you loosen that screw, if you have a if you if you have a check valve that doesn't seem to be working, perhaps if you loosen that screw and maybe throw a drop of lubricant in there, that might free it up. But everything I've been reading says use a spring check valve not these gate check valves. Use a spring-loaded one, spring-loaded inline, which can be mounted in a vertical or horizontal position, as opposed to these gate check valves, which have to be mounted in a horizontal position, sort of like this. This side down. So thanks for watching. Um, maybe this will help somebody not have to take a valve out. Well, for those of you who are interested, I did open this up. 19 millimeter socket. It took an incredible amount of force to open this, so I personally would never have attempted this uh, while it was plumbed. Uh, my copper was just not sufficient enough to support it. It took a lot of force and you, you hate to create a problem somewhere else in your plumbing system. But for those of you who are brave and don't want to remove the valve and you want to try to troubleshoot shoot it uh, while it's installed, here's what you can do. Uh, break the lid free. There's a lot of sealant around it. And if you were to use it again, obviously you'd put some Plumber's putty or and or Teflon tape, button it up tight. But it took a lot of force, so that means you would have been putting a lot of strain on 
some of your other other joints. And this is going to be very difficult to see, but there the gate is up and it's stuck up. I don't know whether a little bit of lubricant here. It appears to me that somewhere in this hinge area here and here, this is where this thing is hanging up. There's an awful lot of corrosion on the inside. As I said, this is about a 16 year old check valve. And who knows how long it was been uh, not operating correctly. So there you go. I thought you might want to see the inside of one of these. I hadn't found any videos on YouTube that showed the inside. Hey, if you found this at all helpful or entertaining, how about a thumbs up? But more importantly, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So I'd appreciate it if you subscribe.